Hi everybody, welcome back to the Food Network. Haven't done an update in a few days. Um, I mean, she posts a lot of videos, a, a lot of videos, and I mean, I know why that is. It's because Chantal doesn't really make any money. I mean, she's trying to make YouTube her sole income and everything, but I mean, when your view, when your videos are only getting like. I, I, I don't know. Like I saw the other one of them had like, I don't know, like 4,000 something views. I mean, this is not the type of um, revenue that Chantal has been used to the past few years. So I think in order to make up for that, she's trying to throw more at us because if you upload three videos in one day and each get 5,000 views, I mean, that's like having one video with 15,000 views, right? So she's really trying at this point. I mean, even before that, even just a video a day can be a lot for someone like Chantal. So uh, th I can imagine three videos every day. That's something that she can't keep up, but she's kind of needing to in order to sustain her life there and everything. So I don't normally take a look at these super long live streams that she does. Um, if anything, I'll look at a condensed version that a compilation or reaction channel will create. But it's this is kind of like an early bird gets the worm kind of thing. I mean, this quite literally like just happened two hours ago. So let's go ahead and cover it. We're going to skip through it and everything. Chantal is basically breaking down in the stream. Um, she is expressing the way that she's feeling as a whole and everything. And for once, we're actually seeing the real side of Chantal. I mean, we all know that she's miserable. We all know that she's upset. We all know that she isn't getting out of this relationship what she is, you know, saying that is making her so happy and everything. So I think that this is a moment where we're seeing her break down and show a little bit of her true self. And I'm looking forward to hearing it. Let's see what she has to say. Me, Gemini, everybody. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm very emotional. I might cry. Hi, Laura. Yeah, I can't help it. Like, I'm up at night. Like, my husband's sleeping and I'm awake crying. I don't think that that husband lives with her. I do not think that these two are married, and I know in Islamic countries that's a problem, that if you're not married to someone, you can't be living with them or whatever. Um, I'm, I don't really know if the rules are different if you're not a citizen of that country, which neither of them are. They're, they're both living in this country, and they're both not citizens there. They're just kind of... I don't know there. And then she keeps renewing her visa every three months and keeps going back as a tourist or whatever. I think that Chantal pays for herself to live out here in this country. I think that she does everything by herself for herself. And then when it's needed and necessary, he comes around to be featured in a video or do a vlog. I think that he lives somewhere else. I think that he lives where he has always been living or he lives with a friend or I do not think that these two people live together. So whenever she comes on here real late at night and says, oh, he's sleeping or, oh, you know, I, I, I can't sleep, but I'm, I'm not trying to talk too loud because I don't want to wake him up. I, I just I think that she's alone in this room a lot. I think that he's not that he, because he doesn't want to be with her. He doesn't want to be around her. He doesn't want to be doing this. I mean, so the less that he can be in that apartment with her, the better. I mean, he still kind of has to keep tabs on her and everything because she's his ticket to getting citizenship to Canada. But as far as hanging out and having a relationship and being intimate or whatever and having meals together and spending time with one another, that's that's abhorrent to him. He doesn't want to do something like that. And I, I don't know why we're a year out and why this is maybe suddenly just dawning on Chantal, but uh, I, I don't know. I think a lot of the reason why she continues to live out here and why she continues to do this whole Muslim thing is because she wants to stick it to everyone that says that this was BS. Um, everyone knows that this is BS, this entire thing that she's put on for the past year in some change regarding this whole relationship with this guy. It, it's, it's BS and she's not happy and it's not genuine. It's not whatever. But, um, I think for her 
her hater nation and everything, she's kind of sticking it to them by staying there because she knows that the reaction channels don't like this kind of content. So she thinks that if she can give the reaction channels nothing to work with, in addition to being in a relationship, then she's winning. Even though she's miserable, she's winning. Which uh, I don't. I don't see that. I don't. I don't see what you would want to or have to prove to reaction channels. But I don't know. Apparently, this is important to Chantal. Hi, Tracy. And I just felt alone right now, so I thought I would go live and talk to you guys. It's like I don't like burden burdening the real people in my life family and friends even though they've said numerous times you can talk to us you can talk to us i like to burden you guys <laughs> the people who pay your income the people who give you a roof over your head you want to be a burden to them but to the people that actually care about you and love you you don't want to be a burden to them i don't think that Sean, unfortunately i don't think that chantal's able to talk to anyone i don't think that she has any close friends i mean the one friend that she did had uh shannon i mean that's that's long over with that's long gone so as far as Sh chantal having someone to confide in I, I she doesn't talk to pete's anymore I don't think that she has any sort of close relationship with her family back in Canada to be talking about things with. And on top of it, I mean, I feel like if Chantal were to open up to someone, I feel like she would feel humiliated and embarrassed. Um, and that a lot of her problems have a very simple answer to it. It's like, well, if he's treating you like crap and he doesn't want to be around you and you're miserable, well, then get out, honey. So, I mean... She knows all of the answers to all of her problems. So what would be the point in telling this to someone else? Because all that's going to do is humiliate her and she's going to have to hear it from someone else, even though she tells herself every day, you're miserable, you're not happy, you're, you're, you need to get out of there. So how would that help hearing it from someone else? She already knows the answer. But for whatever reason, she wants to stay out there because I guess having a fake relationship and being able to put that out online is more important to her than actually being genuinely happy, which is sad and strange. Hi, Golden Girl. I'm sorry, guys. I'm like not trying to be dramatic. And I'm going to smoke a menthol because I don't smoke cigarettes normally, but except when I'm really stressed out. I know it's bad for me and can kill me. I just, I can't help it. Am I allowed to smoke? I don't even care. So, oh, why am I hurting? I don't know. You, nice cactus, lip gummies. I wish we could chat in real life. Homesick. Um, no, well, a little bit. No, she's not homesick. Sorry, my chair is being annoying right now. That's why I had to like plop down like this. Um, so if it looks like I'm in a sunken place, it's because I quite literally had to move my chair down a little bit. Um, she's not homesick. She has nothing to be homesick about. Because if she had a relationship with her family or friends or anything to go back to in Canada, she would she would long for Canada or she would have something to run back to. I mean, honestly, she's probably more frustrated than anything because it would be comforting for her to know that she could have something to run back to if all of this Kuwait stuff didn't work out. That's really the scary part about everything is her, life for her isn't working out out there. But it's not like she can just return to happiness back in Canada or return to famili familiarity and be happy or, you know, go back. To, uh, as far as I'm concerned, what, what I saw from Chantal, her life back in Canada was just as dismal as it is here. I mean, yes, she had more access and yes, she was able to do more. And I think overall she was more happy. But in terms of her going back to something that would bring fulfillment to her life, Canada's not it. So maybe she's trying to think like, well, 
How, how do I win ever? <laughs> how, in what environment do I win? But it's, it's not this one, Chantal. I don't know if it's Canada, but it's definitely not this one. I just feel weird. I don't know how to explain it. You know exactly how to explain it. You know exact. You know the Chantal knows the answers to all of her problems right now. If she were to come on here and talk about like, oh, you know, he doesn't touch me. Oh, he doesn't talk to me. Oh, he doesn't. He's never here. Oh, he doesn't want to spend time with me. Girl. I, I mean, you know the answers to this. It's it's Chantal trying to stick it to the community, I think, because everyone has always told her that her marriage is fake, that this is stupid, that they're not actually married, all this stuff. And she's trying to stay out here as long as she can and financially and physically sustain herself out here so that she can stick it to them and say, oh, look, I, I proved you wrong. But you're miserable, honey. You know all the answers. You know exactly what you need to do. You need to get the F out of there. He's wasting your time. You're wasting your own time. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I have a hard time feeling sad for her right now because she's doing it to herself. I just want a piece. Yeah, I miss my family. It's like I feel conflicted with my identity in a lot of ways. Did for 28 months, no way. I can take I feel like she's trying to be vague on purpose. Like you're trying to be quirky and deep, but it's not quirky and deep at all. You just make poor decisions and you put yourself in a bad position in life. I feel conflicted with my identity. What does that even mean? That means absolutely nothing, Chantal. You're mad and you're upset and you're sitting here crying at three in the morning because I, you know all the answers. Everyone knows all the answers. I'm conflicted with my identity. You just don't want to come on here and say what's actually bothering you because you know that the audience will give you shit for it. And you already know what they're going to say. So why say it? Why give them that ammunition? But she's coming on here for sympathy regardless. Hope you're okay. We're all here for you. Love you. Thank you, Tiffany. You really, it means a lot. 28 months is a long time. Are you serious? It's momentary. Thank you, Nicolina. I know that you guys. You should wake up so a lot. He's your soulmate. He would want to share with you. I don't want to wake him up. Thanks, Bailey. So, <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah, I bit the cigarette. Um, what triggered you? It's like I have I have to be private about a lot of things, you know. I own a shambles, thank you. No you don't. No you don't. The woman that came on here and exposed her body and everything about her life the past three years and last season does not need to be private about it. It's because you would give the reaction channels in the community as a whole ammunition. That's why she has to be private. Because if she comes on here and starts saying, oh, he doesn't do this, oh, he doesn't do that, I, I'm i paying for everything, everything that everyone knows that she just won't address, that would be a big fat I told you so in her, in her face. So she doesn't want to come on here, so she's masking it with, well, I just have to be private about certain things. No, it's because you don't want mud shoved in your face by the reaction channels. Um, hi, Teardrop, hi. <sighs> Swish LA and Orange Julep and Farm Boy. I might go home for a while. Elizabeth's. I mean, like I just said, 
I don't know if going home for Chantal would fix a lot of what's wrong with her and a lot of the problems that she has in life. But I do think that she belongs in Canada a lot more than where she is right now. Because, I mean, the past year, really, this has been such a dumpster fire. I mean, this is... (laughs) I think that there is at at least, at the very minimum, there is a chance that Chantal could maybe get on the right track in some aspects of her life in Canada. But with this, this is all fantasy land. Chantal, you don't belong there. I I mean, this is silly. Yeah, like I am, but... It's nothing against Salah at all. Like, I love him so much. But sometimes I'm just like really conflicted and like within myself and like feel like. More meaningless talk. I'm conflicted with my identity. I feel like I'm in with myself. She's saying a lot of crap that translates to all of the answers that we all know. We <laughs> we all know exactly what's wrong and why you're unhappy, Chantal. You just don't want to say it because then everyone will go, told you so, told you so. So, I, I mean, whatever. Keep saying these weird, vague, nebulous statements. I, I feel conflicted about what's going on and the parameters of my lifestyle. Like, that doesn't mean anything. We know what you're actually trying to say. You just won't say it. Yep. It's like a me problem. Like, even though he reassures me. Oh, it's a me problem. (laughs) Do you hear that? (laughs) It's a me problem. I mean, yeah, it is a you problem, because I don't know why you continue to want to live out there. It's pointless, so yeah. It's a you problem in that regard. You know, you knew from day one that you were being used. But you were okay with it. So I think for the woman who last season was noted for saying all you had to do was fake love me, if you apply that kind of philosophy to your your life, I mean, you're inviting people into your life to mistreat you by, by thinking that way and feeling that way about yourself. So you need to go back to Canada. You need to go to therapy. You need to have a long talk with someone and you need to start fixing a lot of these habits that you have because this is no way to sustain yourself in any regard. And the only reason that you're able to sustain this lifestyle is because you have this very very unorthodox, unique income from YouTube that allows this to be possible. Otherwise, this wouldn't work unless unless she was independently wealthy and she were to able to sustain herself while she was out there. I mean, she's just barely scraping by on what she makes on YouTube, which when I'm looking at the views, it's not very much. So, I mean, if she's out there, she's paying her own rent. She's paying for her own food. She's paying for utilities and whatever out there. At the end of the day, she's not getting what she wants. She's barely scraping by and she's not having a good time. Why stay out there? But it's a me problem, not not a him problem. Well, honestly, you're right. <laughs> but he accepts me for how I am. Like, I feel like I have so much mental health problems. Health- of course he accepts you for how you are. It doesn't matter how many mental health problems you have. If you can get him in that country and get him papers, that's it. Who cares? Who cares what mental health problems or, you know, what you're going through right now? That doesn't matter. He'll take you as you are. I mean, quite literally, if I need to say that or if I need to, you know, express that to anyone, like, I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I, I, what is he, 29, 30, a 30 year old? I mean, Sal is not ugly. Sal is not ugly. Looking at him and then, I mean, looking at Chantal, 10 years, 10 years older than him. Uh, just, I, I mean, I'm trying not to be nasty here. I'm not trying to be, I'm not, but I mean, you, you just don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I, I mean, typically in relationships, I like to describe relationships as a butterfly. There should be symmetry in relationships. Like when it opens up, both wings should look the same. Um, I'm seeing one wing that kind of works barely and then one wing that's totally demolished and deformed and this this butterfly ain't flying problems it just feels 
old and fat and barren. And like, I just want to live peacefully, not having those insecurities in a relationship. Like, I don't want to. What? She feels old, fat, and barren. Well, you can't help your age. That second one, you've dealt with that your whole life. And that third one, I feel like she's just introducing something random into the conversation to justify why she's crying right now. We all know why she's crying. It's because she's miserable out there with him. She doesn't get anything out of it. She's barely just scraping by. She's having to put out three videos a day just to barely scrape by and be miserable. We know why you're miserable, honey. So I think that I think that her saying just now that she's upset about being barren, I think that maybe that was a way for her to justify why she's crying right now. That that was kind of out of left field. I don't want to have that. I want to just live like somewhere. It's like, I don't know if it's my mental illness, but I just want to like, like be comfort, comfortable in my home and play video games and just relax and like go live whenever I want to. I want to drive around on the long road. Well, that ain't there. It ain't there. I mean, you went to a very reserved, backward country and if you're someone that wants to go live all the time and say whatever you want to say and drive wherever you want to drive and do whatever you want to do you picked the wrong place honey so i mean at this point you you, you know you don't you don't want to look at someone and watch them cry and then kick them while they're down and everything but i mean really chantal you're you're gonna be 40 you're going to be 40. I mean, at this point, do you really need strangers on the internet patting you on the back telling you it's going to be okay? I mean, you see the problem in front of you. The solutions are as clear as day. If you don't want to take the help and you don't want to do what's right for you, I don't know. Sit there and be miserable and cry and smoke your cigarette. I, I just, I don't really have sympathy for people who have the answers and then don't apply it to themselves. They just want to sit around and be miserable and cry. But sometimes... It's just that sometimes it's hard not having the comforts or the crutches that I had in Canada, you know, like... The comforts and the crutches that you had back in Canada. So are you referring to wheelchairs? Are you refeeling, are you referring to edibles? Are, are those the crutches? Are those the things that are helping you cope with the way that you are? I, I, again, I mean, she's going to speak very generally and very vaguely because she doesn't want to come out and say the obvious. So I just, I'm trying, I'm trying to decipher it. I'm trying to translate it into English for y'all. <laughs> I mean, even, even though everybody knows what's going on. Not being able to just go for a drive. Yeah, or like, I know this is bad to say as a Muslim, but I do miss like the wheelchairs sometimes, not wheelchairs, like, but, and I know it's bad for me and it's an addiction, so. Yeah, big golden girl. Yeah. You know what I think probably prompted this? I mean, in addition to her being miserable day in and day out, but specifically what prompted her. Um, at the So the way that you get paid on YouTube, the way that it kind of works is once you finish up for the month, you can kind of you can kind of expect what you're going to be making for that month. So when Halloween ended and it became November 1st, 
Chantal was able to see what she was going to be paid for the month of October, which will be paid on November 21st. So in about three weeks time, Chantal will receive a direct deposit for the amount that she earned throughout October. So I think what happened was Chantal finished up the month of October and she sees and realizes that she's putting a lot of, and I hate to say it, but effort into the vlogs and the amount of vlogs that she's uploading every day and it's still not paying off. Whereas a couple years ago, she would come on here in a bra and scream and make that in, I don't know, five days. So I think that she saw her October pay and she just put things into perspective and realized how much effort she's putting into things. And it's doesn't it does it's not even scratching the surface. It doesn't matter at all. So I think that the timing of this is pretty interesting. I think that maybe he gets on her case about money. And um Yeah. Probably has something to do with money. Crutches. You know what I mean? Like, things that make life bearable. Homesick, you think so? But the thing is, it's like, then I think about Canada. And when I'm there, I miss, like, my cat here. I miss Harry. I miss Salah. I miss my... Chantal, shut up. Like, no, no, I'm sorry, but shut up. There's... No, you don't. You do not miss the cat. You do not miss the hamster. You, you got that cat, what, two months? Of the two to three months that she's had that cat, she's been away for it. She's been away from that cat for a month because she was in Thailand. <laughs> you you miss the hamster, really. You miss the hamster. I, I mean, you miss him, really. What, what do you miss about him? I, I, I just... Oh, gosh. But you know what? The other side of this is what you got to remember is Canada is not that alluring of an option for Chantal because it's not like she can go back there and start anew. Chantal is in quite a bit of a predicament when she goes back to Canada because she has bankruptcies. She has debt. She has a lot of things that she would have to deal with to make life sustainable over there. So, I mean, this kind of running away to the Middle East to escape at reality. I, I mean, is that really what she's doing? Because, I mean, if she goes over, if she goes back to Canada, I don't know how she has things set up right now or how she's getting paid or whatever. But if she's avoiding paying taxes, when she goes back to Canada, she's going to have to pay back taxes and on top of that, I mean, are they going to garnish her wage? Like, how's that going to work? It's, it seems like a mess. It seems like she's at a dead end here in the Middle East. She's miserable. She's trying to make it work by uploading three videos a day. It's still not working. But if she goes back to Canada, she has quite a bit of a hole to uh, crawl out of before she can even have a chance at being happy over there. So either way, it's an uphill battle. And, you know, for Chantal, uphill and our friend home here and things about Kuwait. So, but now she's there's just like insecurities I have that when I think if I was alone I have told Spa all this before. That I wouldn't have to worry about, like, just me. Like my grandma that way, just me. Like she <laughs> She's probably insecure because she knows in the back of her mind that when he leaves her at this apartment to be here for... 20 hours plus a day alone, he's out doing whatever with whoever. So, I mean, yeah, you're out there busting your butt trying to make a life for yourself, trying to get somebody papers, and then they're out there doing whatever they want. I, I, but, I mean, that that makes you feel insecure. It's like, uh, it just, this is silly. The way she goes about things is so silly. It was always alone. I understand why. Yeah. Yeah. 
take the whole fan back to Canada. There's things I do very much dislike about Canada, yeah. What, like the weather and your debt? I, I, I don't know, girl. Throw on another sweater. As far as the debt goes, you did that to yourself. I mean, but other than that, what don't you like about Canada? Huh? I mean, more, more importantly, what, what, what are you getting out of being in Kuwait <laughs> that you're not getting in Canada? But I don't know if it was Canada or if it was just my life there that I hated, you know, I'm like confused. Your life. Really? You need us to answer that? Just how you make very poor decisions and you lead a very destructive lifestyle. It was the life that you hated, not Canada. You guys don't have to time out people just like asking questions. I don't mind. I'll just answer what I want to. Other things I dislike about Kuwait. Thanks, Ghostface. Yeah, I wish I could drive around. And you know what? She has driven around. I remember one vlog she did. She went to Starbucks by herself. I mean, I don't know what's going on with their car situation, but I can tell you the financial situation right now ain't pretty. But, but I mean, really, Chantal, you, say you say you could do it. Say, say you could drive around and do whatever you want. What, what, what would you be going out? You don't know anyone there. You don't have any friends there. I, I mean, the only guy you know, the only person you know there is him. So what what would you be doing? It's not like you have money to go shopping. I mean, every time you do a shopping vlog, it's just a whole lot of window shopping. So uh, I, don't, I don't think that being able to drive around would fix anything in Kuwait. I just feel very confused, you know. You're not there and you have so much more. The thing is, I don't want children. I know I don't, you know? Yeah, I, I, that was just a way to garner sympathy. That had nothing to do with anything. Oh, I'm old, I'm fat, I'm barren. Girl, that was just something you threw in there to get sympathy from people. You don't want kids. That doesn't actually... I mean, it may bother her on some level, I'm guessing, but... That is something that she has never expressed or talked about on here before. That that came out of left field. <clears throat> There's no way I can have them. I'm a grandma already, and that's how I feel. I don't like bringing all of my mental health problems onto Salah. He's normal. He's fucking normal. Nothing medically wrong with it. Thank you guys. I can't drive here. I think you need an international. I like. I thought you could drive with your. I'm not sure if you can drive with my, my license or. If you need an international license, but it's not safe. It's like really crazy to drive here alone. And even if you could, it wouldn't matter. I, I mean, uh, other than going to get fast food, what would be the point of her driving? And I mean, she gets fast food anyway because he brings it to her. So isn't it, in her mind, isn't that better for her? I mean, wouldn't she rather just sit around and have everything, everything delivered than have to go get it? So I, I don't see how driving makes her mental health better. Yeah. Juice box beef. No, I have old crusty on my eyelids. Uh, I own a need my mom. Thank you, Golden Girl. I feel like betraying him talking about this online, I know. 
with us i need to feel free to like express myself as well i just feel like i, I have limited freedom in certain things oh <laughs> you went to the wrong place sweetheart you, you want to feel free to express yourself <laughs> you went to the wrong place He's normal. Oops. My hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, Angela. Guardian Angel. <laughs> Your name. <laughs> You're a grandma, 48. Kids are too much work. I can't have kids. I can't even take care of my effing self. Well, hey, she's got that down. Yeah, to your job. There's just things I can't talk, can't tell you guys out of respect and privacy. You know, obviously our relationship is not perfect. But... Girl, you don't even have a relationship to call it not perfect. You you guys have a working business transaction pending. That's all that this is. Relationship. Girl, this is not a relationship as much as it was with the last dude. If you really want an actual, genuine relationship, go back to Canada, sort your stuff out, get all of your problems on track or at least be trying your best and meet someone that's in a similar stage of life as you. Relationships can and should be very symmetrical in my opinion. When you open up that butterfly, you should see two wings that look a lot alike. This? No. <laughs> I think a lot of it's a me problem too. I didn't, yeah, I didn't acknowledge any of my problems from back home. Like with you know who, I don't even want to live in the same country as that person. Honestly, I don't. Yeah, teardrop, I know. I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm just saying like, you know, I respect so I respect our privacy. <laughs> But things that have to do with me, you know, and my sentiments, I feel like I've always talked about these things. I've always liked to be open, and I just don't feel like me not being that way, you know? And it contradicts who I am now, like, as, like, a Muslim woman. Like, we don't, tip they don't typically talk about problems like that you know Chantal is taking issue with some of the principles of Islam who would have guessed yeah freedom deep yeah deep cactus oh wow I'm only good for you energy egg this is therapy. Well, it's more complicated for him to come to Canada as a Syrian, so. Yeah, because she can't host him. That's that's a big reason why. I, I mean, as, as far as I know, from what I've learned of watching reaction channels and this arc and everything, Chantal just can't invite. Chantal just can't fly out to the Middle East and marry somebody, then bring them back to Canada and get them papers. It's not that easy. You have to be able to prove income. You have to be able to, you know, prove that they won't be a liability. You have to. There, there's a lot that you have to do as a host for a spouse like that in order for it to work. Um, and in addition to that, it's a very lengthy process. Years, 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 years. So. Uh, Ch Chantal is not in the position to be able to host someone like this. I mean, I don't know if she gave him some type of false sense of hope as to whether or not this would go through, and that's what he's hanging on to. But 
he, he there's no way that that would work i mean at least not now yeah i didn't heal on anything i don't want to i don't want to like think about it you know don't pick up on a therapist yeah Thanks, dear God. I seem bored. You didn't do your- oh, really, Sabre? Yeah. I know what you mean, it's hard to, to deal with it. Oh, really, Nightly? <laughs> I'm trying to- I just want to deal with some health things too. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, why am I so effing scared? Stupid. Like, I don't care about myself or something. Like, I know my blood pressure is high right now. I have a headache and I'm smoking. Like, I don't even care. I have so many problems that, like, traditionally, I always compare myself to, like, another, like, traditional Muslim woman he would marry besides me. Well, you shouldn't do that. Oh my. You definitely shouldn't do that because you'll never win that battle. Oh my. Why do you hate yourself so much? I, I mean, because you make all the wrong decisions, Chantal. You're, you, Chantal, I, I mean, I, I mean this in the nicest way. Chantal, you're not a very likable person. So, I mean, if most people around you would not like you, it does make sort of sense that you wouldn't like yourself. So, if that's the case, I mean, you need to start doing the work and you need to start fixing the things as to why... You do the things that you do that lead to you not liking yourself. That's the only way through. Like, I have so many problems that I brought here, you know. <sighs> anyway, <sighs> am I breathing yet? Don't put yourself down. Miss A, it's like normally I don't mind. Like, normally I, I'm okay with these things, but being in... Being married makes, makes my insecurities come out. I feel like I have duties as a wife that I just don't, can't, I can't do all the time. Or do I even want to sometimes, you know? Yeah. I just accepted the entire package. Yeah, but like a part of me doesn't believe that. You know what I mean, Golden Bro? Like, a part of me feels like he doesn't really know because we got married so fast. Mmm, <laughs> finally a little truth out of her. Okay, now the wheels are moving. He married the whole package. Well, maybe he didn't because it happened so fast and he didn't realize. Okay. You hate responsibility, babe. I just like to be free to do whatever I want. Whenever I want. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hi, Lolo. I don't know if I was happier. It's like a different life. You know, it's like apples and oranges here in Canada. It's apples and oranges. Just free, like, you know, just do whatever. Like, just go out. And, like, no driving or not have to. Well, I mean, again, this is you making a poor decision. If you know that you're someone that likes to have freedom to do whatever you want and go and say whatever you want, why, why'd you move to the Middle East as a woman? I mean, if I'm someone that loves blazing hot weather and I go to move to Alaska, wh what do you think is going to happen? You're going to be, <laughs> you're not going to be happy with that decision. So I, I, how do you, how do you feel sorry for someone like this? You, you know what you did. You know what you got yourself into. I mean, even worse, I'm telling you, whereas a lot of people want to get out of a situation like this and want to live the way that you can live in Canada, they don't even have that option. They're stuck there, AKA your husband. So I mean, for someone that is able to get on a plane right now and go back to Canada, if they wanted to, I mean, I can't feel sorry for that because there's a lot of people living in the middle East right now that would love to leave and live the life that they want to live, but they can't. Because they don't have citizenship anywhere else, or they don't have the means, or you know, the whatever to get out. So like, just if I just want to like go home, like I don't know how to explain it. Just peace, like just I don't know. 
Yeah, maybe I just need a break. Maybe I'm just homesick. I don't know. But I think I'm going to go home for a while. I'm thinking of like getting an Airbnb. Because I like my privacy. Yeah, if I go back. Thanks, Lexi. You always have to be modest. Yeah. Stop in London. I could probably find a flight that stops in London. Lindsay. <laughs> Well, if she gets an Airbnb, they won't run her credit, right? So that's probably why she wants to do that. Because when she was living in the villa with What's-His-Face, well, I don't know, maybe she'll come get Pete's to live with her again. I mean, he's always on retainer. He, he can always, I mean, really, I mean, because what's Pete's going to do? If she says come a-running, he'll come a-running. So, I mean, I don't know. She could use his credit to get to get a place, but then she'd be obligated to help pay for him. And she, right now, really isn't doing too well financially. So she's not making villa money. She isn't back in a place financially where she was able to support herself and Pete's. But now, I mean, if she gets a Airbnb by herself, um, I mean, I'd imagine she'd be able to swing that long term just because it wouldn't matter what her, how bad her credit or how much debt she was in. I hiccuped in public and everyone looked at me. Thanks, sir. So thank you guys for being here and listening to me. I really appreciate it. The Western world, welcome to. Go home and look and reflect on what you truly want. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be arrested my first day there. It's, it's such a different life, you know? And it's like, having grown up... Well, you guys saw how I was. Oh my god. I can't even say oh my god. <laughs> I said the same with Phoebe. Well... I think it's a me problem, that's why, because... Sometimes I feel like I don't even have the relationships take work, right? They take compromise. I don't even sometimes have the mental energy for it. I mean, the Middle East is wonderful. It's just a different culture, but, you know, um, I don't know. It is hard to jump into a new lifestyle, yeah. Yeah, plugs, I know. Yeah, Naomi, exactly. That's how I feel sometimes, like, I feel protected with Salah, like he just handles everything in our lives. Like, that's culturally what the men do. You know, they take over everything. <laughs> but me, I'm like used to being so independent. And I've said that. It's Except for paying for things, apparently. Just saying, I mean, as far as as far as we know, he doesn't have an income. I mean, he, he owns a part of some random perfume business. Okay, whatever that means. Chantel's front in the bill. I mean, we saw how that guy lived prior to her getting there. So, I, I mean, he takes care of everything with your credit card. Okay, yeah, that's real protective. He's always like, well, there's nothing you can't do here. That's not true. <laughs> you know, like, it's not his fault culturally. That's how, he's, how he is. Well, yeah, I guess well is the same now, you're right. Technically, you're not supposed to say it. Yeah, he's kind, wonderful man. Real dinner. <laughs> Real place is cold. Yeah. I drank all the juice boxes. They were on sale. <laughs> Mira just starting my need a break. Really, Mira? Oh, there you go back. Yeah, I'm probably going to for a little while. People will say told you so, but yeah, I don't care. About that really. I just don't know if I can picture like being without him for a while. Like, I'll miss him, obviously. I love him, you know? Oh, I'm so messed up. Like, I just don't even know what I want. It's too, like, I just can't be around people. Yeah, Trixie, that's the thing. You're never around people. What do you mean? You sit in this apartment all day by yourself. Who are you around that you can't deal with? The hamster? I thought you loved the hamster. The cat? I thought you loved the cat. What do you mean you just hate people? <laughs> Western women are used to a certain lifestyle, you know? Oh my god, I, I cannot believe she just said that. Western women are accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Oh my god. This is the woman that had an OnlyFans, like what, a year ago? A year and a half ago? And now she's on here judging Western women. I, I, this is, this is just so stupid. This is so, so stupid. I can't hit on a broom. I wish it would be free. 
you know how expensive an effing flight every time I go there is? Thanks, Teardrop. Do you get along with other women? I mean, whenever we go camping or, like, sometimes if Salah goes to Dionia, which is like a hangout for men, I go and, like, I've gone a couple times to hang out with the wives. We communicate through Google Translate, and they're really lovely, they're so nice. But other than that, I haven't really talked to many, many, many people here. Chantal, those women talk so much shit on you, they need multiple toilets to get through that conversation. You, of course they're nice to your face. It's because they want to get information out of you so that they can talk shit on you. Those women see a fat white woman walk through the door with Sala. I mean, knowing his situation and then knowing what he's trying to do and then they see you, they probably bust out laughing as soon as you walk out of the room. I, I, I mean, come on. They're nice to you. <sighs> oh, God. Thanks, Rufus. Sometimes the grass isn't greener. Yeah. Thanks, Amara. Homesick bee. Homesick bees. Yeah, I do miss my family box. I wonder if like World War Three breaks out and I never get to see them again or something. Move to a rural city in rural state, USA. Oh yeah, and I can have some gems. I'm just joking. <laughs> Snow. Uh, yeah, his family too. I do get along with them very well. Yeah. Thanks, Lala. Well, that means, like, I swear to God, Robin. <laughs> I need a snack. You're ready for snow? I'm too impulsive for my own good. Yeah, I'm very close. Look up Kuwait in the book. That was like, it's like this much map space. But I couldn't leave. Like, I feel like I have a family here now. Like, I couldn't leave my pets in Salah here in a war. Oh my god. Yeah. Do you hear that? She has a family there now. Oh, I couldn't just abandon my pets. You mean like how you abandoned your cat of 20 years? Just like, like out of the flip of a hat last year? <laughs> I could never abandon my pets. The, the street cat that you got that you've already spent a month away from and some little hamster. Oh, I could never. I could never leave them. Oh wait! Oh, sorry, sorry. And your and your husband. Sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, I know. I just don't know what happiness is. I guess maybe. Like I feel happy and peaceful, but like I said, I have those insecurities in a relationship. You know. I don't know. Canada Airbnb bees. You think so, Rebecca? We talk to him about these things many times. Yes. But I like to talk about it on my channel. Like, I feel like I've been holding in a big crap and I just like letting it out. <sighs> Sorry, I have a headache a bit. Would oh, you go back with me? Yeah. Julia? True, Cheddar. Thanks, Bosby. <laughs> the cactus is. And you know, another thing is Chantal's on borrowed time in a lot of regards. I, I mean, you can only sustain being a 450 pound woman in the Middle East with doing little to nothing to better your health for so long. I mean, she's sitting here doing nothing, smoking a cigarette with a headache from her high blood pressure. You can't live like this for a long time. So, I mean, you can only screw around and play housewife in the Middle East for so long, Chantal. This is not going to work out for you. You need to go back there and you need to fix the root of the problems and start getting on a better start getting on a better track before it becomes too late if it isn't already too late. Yeah, I was depressed before I came here. Nothing just follows you. And I feel inadequate, like, as a Muslim woman. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I can't imagine why. I mean, you know nothing about Muslim culture. You know nothing about Islam. You've been there for a year, maybe even less than a year, if you take away the month that she came back in February and gave away the cats. Um, 
you know nothing about the culture you don't respect the way of life like i can't imagine why you feel inferior to other women over there i mean on top of everything else on top of everything else i can't imagine Oh, all right, y'all. Well, I, I think that this is all we're going to get through. I feel like I made a mistake going through this in the beginning, doing it on one time speed, because I'm noticing I have like a pretty long runtime right now. We're only 30 minutes into it. So maybe what we'll do is we'll finish this up in another video on two times speed another day, like tomorrow or the day after that or something like that. Food Network doesn't usually get covered on, on this channel every day, but I don't know, maybe. Honestly, though... This is more this is more interesting and entertaining for me personally than her doing her fake vlogs just cuz there's no commentary to really add to those. I mean, I know that, you know, we can sort of like have fun with them in a way, but those vlogs as a whole, they're so boring. I mean, at least this is a conversation. So, I don't know, maybe tomorrow we'll we'll hop in on two times speed and we'll finish this up. Um this is just absolutely ridiculous that she's even still over there. I cannot believe that this season has gone on for as long as it has. Um this cannot be sustained for much longer. So I will leave you all with that. Let me know your thoughts on this video and I'll see you soon for part two.